Good afternoon, everyone. This is Matt over at MilestoneCapitalGrowthPortfolio.com. Today is Tuesday, November 18th. First of all, welcome all new members. Uh, glad to have you. Uh, great turnout in the last couple of weeks. Uh, really nice to see everybody there and uh, enjoying themselves. All right, uh, good session today, learning session we had for about an hour, hour and a half on multi-time frame charting. Uh, if you're not a member, make sure you become a member. Uh, you'll have to the end of this month, then prices will go up. Um, the prices will go up and there'll be three levels an executive level and all that good stuff we got some fantastic stuff coming that'll just knock your socks off so now's the time to do it before we uh, really get too big so anyway let's start with Twitter here Twitter is in a downtrend and right now we're just in consolidation mode okay so what we want to do now is break this downtrend line. You have uh, the middle Bollinger Band in your way, the 200-day moving average right here, 100-day moving average right here, and your gap is right here. Then the 50-day is right above that, so it's going to take some juice to get through. But I think the juice is going to come. As you can see, the relative strength index came off of the 30 right here, had a nice little pop, then pulled right back down again. And now it's gradually starting to come across, so the, the sellers are drying up, in my opinion, and pretty soon we're going to have that move to the upside. Uh, it could go to the downside, so keep your protection down here at this lower candle. And if that lower candle does not hold, then you need to be out of this. But the relative strength index is at 39 and showing the trend to the upside. So just plan your time accordingly. And I think we're going to get this uh, trucking onto the upside. So, you know, we got our gap filled on the bottom here. That's what we wanted. Here's our gap. And now we're just going to consolidate here and then go booyah right up to the upside. We'll have to see what happens there. So, all right, PCLN, no change. Again, no change. You know, it's rocking back and forth a couple. Uh, you can see all these lines. We had some fun today with this one. Uh, we went over multiple time frames and uh, really analyzed the chart a little bit. So, uh, basically, we're just going to tell you right here and right now, um, you know, we had the first stage right here we made huge money to the upside then it sell, sold off no big deal made money on the puts but all across here underneath the middle bulge of a band then finally booyah right up to the upside so we had all these little candles right here and then moved up to the upside broke the 50-day moving average 50-day moving average is now support and so is the middle bulge band so I don't think it's going any lower not yet anyway but I think we're gonna get this gap filled first okay and I think we're gonna come up and test this uh, trend line once we test this trend line then uh, we should be good. Caution, we only have a couple more days to this week. Do we hit that? Do we break out of this box and get into this box, or do we come down? Uh, you know, the relative strength index is at 55. It is unpredictable at this point. Um, it's going to take a lot to push it through the support, but if it does get through the support, then it's going to come back down into this area again. So make sure you uh, manage that properly. Uh, you know, right now it would be more of a straddle than anything else. So we'll have to see what happens with PCLN. But be in the chat room and we will go over it constantly. <coughs> Excuse me, Facebook. All right, Facebook just chugging along the 100 day moving average again. How much longer? It's not going to be much longer before we get this gap fill. Here's the gap fill right here. It's right here. We're going to come get it. I promise we're going to come get it. Just need a little bit of time here. This gap was filled on the downside. You can see a little bit of a gap right here. Came down, tagged that gap. Rode the 100-day moving average. Some serious consolidation right here. Uh, relative strength index is at 44. If it breaks this 100-day moving average, you better get some puts because she is going to come down to the 200-day moving average. Okay. So uh, right now, there's no possible way to say all right it's going up or down but see the Bollinger Band start to curve down a little bit keep a close eye on Facebook because it, if it does this lose this 100 day moving average it is going to come down a little bit more before we come up and get this gap fill so um, in the 200 day would probably be a support but it hasn't broken the 100 day in a long time so m make sure you're real cautious with this here um, keep a close eye so they have to protect this 100 day and really stop moving this to the upside soon we will know in the next couple of days that's for sure I can pretty much guarantee you that all right Google real quick here I'm gonna cruise through a few more uh, Google is not ready yet and my phone is ringing let me stop that I apologize for that all right, so Google real quick here is under the middle Bollinger Band and still heading down. We told you at this top over here that it was going to come down and we're going to have some fun. And we have broke the middle Bollinger Band. Now it was riding above it. Now it broke back under it. So it's a beautiful trade to the downside. So it's going to it's going to settle in this area somewhere. And uh, when it does, then it's going to pop back up again. Okay, but it is in that downtrend now and uh, it's fun. It's a 
great time but you could see how this down this uptrend line was broken here and that was our cue to really get into some puts and uh, go heavy on it and it worked out just fantastic for us and then rode some calls to the upside so now we're in you know we're at relative strength index at 39 has a little bit more downside to go so we'll just have to deal with that as it comes gopro GoPro, any buyers last night after hours when they announced the offering, did very well today because we're still in the uptrend. Uh, they caught 78, and uh, I think that's what it was after hours, something like that. Um, but the downtrend line was here, and now it's not. It's in an uptrend. We are back in an uptrend, so we can get rid of this. Uh, that will act as support, though, so make sure you have that drawn out on your chart. We do have a lower gap to get filled here, but I don't think we're going to fill it right away. We're coming into December, relative strength index is at 59, and we can get this rolling to the upside. Let's take a look at Yahoo and Baba. All right, that's THO. That's not going to work. There we go, Yahoo. Yahoo, we have our target set. Our target set is for 47.53. That's the first area we'd like to see. So uh, there's a proactive trade. You're getting in it. Give yourself some time. And uh, you should do very well on that one. Uh, we're going to do Baba as the last one real quick. That one's working out really well. Our target is almost here. We're going to do this one first, which is going to be 106.50. And it looks like we can get that very, very soon. And if it breaks that, we can go lower. But I don't think it'll do that. I think we're going to hit this 50 and uh, the middle Bollinger Band. And I think we're going to go back up to the upside. So be prepared for calls if you're not in the puts right now. So keep your mark on your chart you want to mark 106 I would I would even come up here I would do 107 107 to 108 and I would start collecting calls and make sure that middle Bollinger Band is your stop loss though because if it gets under that on heavy volume you can kiss this thing goodbye so keep an eye on Baba alright this is Matt over at MilestoneCapitalGrowthPortfolio.com we'll see you in the live chat tomorrow if you're not a member make sure you become a member because uh, it is going to get crazy over at Milestone as you can see it already has from our videos and uh, even the video free videos we're trying to pay for your membership you trade some of the things that are on here become a member and then you're you know it, we paid for it for you by giving you great trades and now the rest of your life is just profitable alright have yourself a fantastic night <laughs>